What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video. This is Web Dev Journey and in today's video we're going to be talking about the headers exchange. So if you have not watched my exchange types video, I highly recommend you watch that. It's going to be the second video on the uh, playlist in the description. Just go watch that. It will explain what a headers exchange is and how it works and the use cases for that. All right. Also, guys, if you like the content so far or you like the series so far, please hit that like button and, and consider subscribing to me. And also leave a comment down below on what you think about the video or the series so far. I greatly appreciate your uh, opinions. Also, I'm trying to better myself. So if you have any criticism that you want to send out or any negative comments, go ahead, man. I'll read it. I'll have a laugh at it. But everything's all good. Also, guys, if you do feel like supporting me, uh, in another way, instead of just watching my videos, there are some uh, links down below in where you could donate or just through my Patreon. So I would greatly appreciate appreciate that as well. It's just another way of supporting me. I'm not saying that uh, that's the only way to support me. I'm not. I never said that in any of my videos. So don't get it wrong or don't get it twisted, right? I greatly appreciate you watching my videos and I do consider that as a you supporting me as well. So either or, I'm just saying. So thank you guys. Anyways, let's get back into the video. So headers exchange, let's talk about it a little bit, right? So headers exchange is literally, uh, you could say that it's literally just exactly like topics, right? Where it gives you those fine grained details, but headers, it's, it, it takes it a level up more, right? It takes it up a level more. And why do I say that? It's because with topic, you have those special characters, right? That, that give you the, uh, the ability to, uh, exactly one or, uh, many, zero or more words, right? But in the headers, you don't have to worry about sending that in a string. You could, you could figure out if you have a long string to put in, it gets very, very annoying. So what headers does, it gives you an object that you could send in and that's going to be your routing key, I guess you could say, right? But it's not technically your routing key because headers does not use routing keys. It uses headers, right? So you're sending in an object so that way you can bind your cues into these headers that you send in. You'll see what I'm talking about once we start, you know, getting into this code. I've already coded up the uh, thing because it's literally, it's literally the exact same thing as, I guess you could say PubSub, right? Or any, any of the past videos, it's basically the same thing. The only thing is we're not going to be taking in like the way you want to bind it, right? That routing key. We're not going to be taking that in because like I said, that's going to be done via an object. And I do not want to mess around with objects, you know, transform writing the object inside the uh, council, right? You, that That's going to be a huge pain writing the uh, object out right here. So I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to be doing is just writing the object over here instead, right? So let's just get into the code right now. Exchange name, headers log. Our message is going to be default message. Subscribe, like, and comment if you have not already. All right, so we got a connection, we got a channel, you know, a certain exchange. The only difference here is that it's the headers exchange, right? And this is the this is the majority of the difference right here, this publish, right? So we have our exchange where you want to publish it. And then next is our routing key. But like I said, headers ignores it. So we're going to pass in empty for this. You could, you could actually type in something in here, but like I said, it's going to just ignore it. So I'm just passing empty. And then here's our message. And then the fourth property or fourth attribute, sorry, attribute argument is going to be our headers. What do we actually want to pass in for the binding, right? And these are our headers. The one thing you do need to have in here, guys, is obviously it's an object. And inside this object, you do have to have the property called headers. You do have to have this, all right? It's going to be looking for this. If you do not have it, it's going to throw out an error, all right? So you do have to have the headers because this is where you're gonna be putting in your other object saying that what are the headers exactly. In this case, let's say that um, we're trying to log out like sign up, right? Sign ups. So if they're new or if they're old and what method they use basically, right? So the headers are going to be the account this is going to be a new account or when this when this spawns or when this uh, hits, we're, we're, we're uh, assuming, right? Obviously this would, this would be like uh, when an application actually sends in their sign up form, you know, sends it in, it's going to be sent to the back end, and we're going to be passing in if it's new and what method they use, right? In this case, we're assuming that this account, this account is going to be a new account and the method that they use to sign up with was Google. Okay. So this is our headers right here. Okay. And that's basically, that's it. That's it, right? It's just the headers properties, which you do have to have. And then the object that you want to sign it. I mean, you want to send out, right? So let's go into our receive logs headers and check this out. So if you see right here, 
everything is the same, right? Headers logs is the only difference. And then right here, exchange, uh, assert exchange, make sure we have it headers. And then assert queue, same thing. The only difference is, is when we bind it, okay? Now this is the big difference right here, the binding. And let me actually do the uh, toggle word wrap, there you go. All right, so let me actually move this in a little line so that way we can see it better. All right, so this bind right here, same thing, right? You got your queue, your exchange name, and then the routing key or the binding key, right? In this case, we don't have really a binding key that's a string. We have our headers binding, right? So this is what it's going to be looking at. What kind of bind method do you want to use, okay? And in this case, this receive logs instance only cares about uh, the account being new or the method being Facebook. I say or because this X match, this is where it all happens. This is where the magic happens, right? With headers. This X match is going to match anything. So anything in here, if you have anything in the queue that matches any of this or, right, an account being new or the method being Facebook is going to receive that message. All right. And you could also put in all right here. And this is, this is the case where if everything matches. So if the, if the queue has the account being new and the method being Facebook, then we're going to receive the message. And you'll see this into play in a bit. Matter of fact, let's actually, let's actually do this one all, control save. And I'm actually going to be creating a new one. And I'm gonna say headers, I'm gonna say underscore all, like that. Or any, sorry, let's do any. Any. So we have another one right here called any. And this one we're going to rename to no, not that one. We're going to rename this one to uh, all. So this all is going to be matching everything that we have in our object. And this any is going to be matching anything that comes in, right? So any, control save. So we're going to have two, two uh, receive logs happening. One that's going to match anything like account being new or method being Facebook. And the other one, it has to literally match new and Facebook. And we'll see this in the play, all right? And the other difference is down here. Oh, wait, before I just want to clear it up. It's just, it's literally an object that all, all of the headers that you want to have. And then this X match, it could be an all or any. Okay. That's the only major difference. And then the other one is instead of saying message fields.content, we actually want the headers that are coming in. So it's going to say message.properties and it lives, lives inside of the headers uh, property. Okay. So. Just letting you know. All right, let's let's try this out. Let's try these out. All right. So first of all, we're going to set up our little. Let's clear this out. So we're, what the hell is happening, right? So first of all, this is going to be our receive all. Yeah, this is going to be our, our all. So it's going to have to match everything. And this one is going to be node receive. It's not going to be all. It's going to be any. Am I the right one? Any, okay, I am in the right one. I was just making sure. So this is going to receive all, meaning that it's going to have to match everything inside the object. And this is going to be any, meaning that it's going to have, it's going to match, well, it's going to be an or statement, right? So over here, I already have one set. We're going to emit the log. Now remember the emit log is going to be, the content is new. I mean, the account is new and the method is Google. So if I hit enter right here, you're going to see that this one grabbed it and this one did not. Now, again, you might already be like, yeah, I understand why. But for those guys that understand, don't understand why this one didn't grab it, let's actually check in the all.js over here. Basically, when we said X match all, basically what we said is that, that it has to match the account being new and method had to be Facebook, right? But in this case, since we sent the method being Google, that did not match this at all. But over here, since we said that it could match any any of them, meaning the or statement, it could match account being new or method being Facebook. Obviously, we did not send method being Facebook, but this one did match account new, right? This is the or statement. That's why this one did grab it. And you can see exactly what's happening right here. I should rename routing key to something else, but you know what I'm talking about. So for the all, if I did change this to Google, Google, control save, and let's restart the uh, all, clear this out. Let's restart this. All right, over here, let's resend that again. You're gonna see that both of them did grab it because this one's literally matching everything, the account being new and method being Google. And over here, it, it matches only the account being new, right? Now, obviously, for, for just for example sake, I'm gonna say account being old. We've already had the account and the method is going to be, um, 
what's another method github right github is another way to sign in or what oh, i should have said apple right screw it anyways so let's try this out and what do you think is going to happen we send this out and none of them receive it obviously because none of them match anything the account being old method being github not this one does not have that for the and and over here this one is waiting for an or but neither or these are is what we had right here oh and one thing one thing i do want to let you know guys this x match does not have to be in the very end it could be right in the beginning or it doesn't matter it's going to uh parse this out you know um obviously look at the stuff inside the object the properties in the object and then once it finds x match it's going to say all right so it doesn't matter where it's at inside of the object just make sure you do have an x match but you could kind of see how I said that if this is a little bit more easier to understand. If this was the case, we would have to, for a topic anyways, you know, you, you could imagine how this would be written. You, you probably have something said, uh, account, right? We're going to be looking at the account service and we only want the old accounts. And we also want the method that they use, right? So method or something like that. It's going to be dot GitHub, right? So you can see how tedious this is. But with headers, it makes it just a little bit more, well, not a little bit, a lot more easier. And that's what that's all about, right? Just making it a little bit more easier. It's just topics on steroids. I know I said that, I said that, but it is. But anyways, that's it, guys. That's, that's, there's nothing to talk about, not that much anyways. I explained how headers works and how you could actually do it. And also check out the exchange type videos, right? Use cases for those kind of things. So let me actually explain how this looks like in a diagram form or in a drawing form, okay? So let me get my pen, it's over here, there we go. Screw the, screw the update, right? All right, by the way guys, we are done. If you understand how this works and how this binds in, you could click out of the video, watch another video of mine, <laughs> preferably, right? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're, we're basically done. So I'm just going to be showing you how this works in diagram form, drawing it out, right? So if you're not interested, go ahead and click it out. So thank you for watching. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Consider subscribing. All right. For anyways, for those that you do actually care, let's actually start drawing this out, right? So you already know that the emit log is our publisher. So over here, what we're going to do is have a publisher. And then right here, connection, channel, doesn't matter. And then we have our exchange, right? So we're creating a headers exchange. So this is going to be a, I want to say H E for headers exchange. We called it the headers log. I'm going to just say H L for headers log. And right here we're sending in the message, right? And then we're going to have some headers, right? Account being old. So I'm right here, um, in a, in a bracket, our account being old. And then comma our GitHub or method being GitHub, right? And then end bracket, and this is our headers, right? So this is all that's happening right here in this file, right? So in our publishing file or publisher file, let's go inside of our receive logs header all. This is the all. So again, we already know that this is a receive log or this is the consumer app. So we're over here, we're going to create a consumer. So we got our connection up here, connection, I mean, uh, creating connection, creating a channel, and then we exert the headers. We already have it, so don't worry about it. And then we're going to be asserting a queue, which we don't have. So I'm going to create a queue over here. We're going to call this X, Y, Z, because we don't know what the name is. And then right here, this is where we're going to bind our little, um, Q, right to the exchange name so this is now binded to the exchange name which is the hl headers log and instead of binding it with a binding key we're actually binding it with the headers so right here this is checking for everything so this is going to have and i'm going to just write it in a in a way that you will understand right so in this case since we're going to be x match all this is going to be account has to be new right and i'm going to do Two simple um, ends, because you already know how that ends. Method. I know you can't really see this, but uh, it has to be Google. It has to be Google. Okay, so we have our and, and I'm going to say this is for all, so that way you know what, what we're doing, right? 
So, and then once we start receiving that, it's going to send this to that, right? But but we got to make sure that this is an end, all right? So let's take a look at our, the any over here. So over here, what we have is a, um, same thing. We have a consumer already, because this is a new, a new thing. This is our consumer and we have a queue. We're going to call this ABC. And we're going to be linking this up to the ABC. And, th and then this one, what we're saying right here, since this is any, I'm going to type in any right here, any, right? This is going to be account has to be uh, new. It has to be new. Account has to be new or, or uh, pipes, two pipes, as you know it, right? Or method can be Facebook. right and then hook it up right here to the consumer all right that's how it's basically working obviously we already know that this account old method being github this is not going to take it because account has to be new and method has to be google so it's not going to send it here as well over here you're going to see that account is new or method is facebook but this is not a new or a facebook right so what happens to this message right here basically it just disappears it, it it drops off we don't have that message anymore it does not stay in queue it just drops right so we don't have this message no more so let's let's actually get another one in here so now this one drops off we don't have this message because it does not match any of the queues that we want so this drops off but let's say that we send in the headers with account being uh new and then Google, comma, Google, or Google method being Google. Right? What do you think this is going to end up with? And we already done this before, but what do you think? Since account has to be new and method has to be Google for XYZ, this is going to match that, right? Since new and Google, new and Google. So it's going to receive it. Here's one. And this one is account new or method Facebook, but since it does match the account being new, it's going to send into this one as well. So both of these are going to same get that message, okay? And that's pretty much how that works in a diagram form or a drawing form. So I hope you enjoy that. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already knew how this worked and how, how it all ties in together. Just wanted to have this just in case, all right? So anyways, guys, Thank you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate you watching my videos. It means a lot to me that you spend your time to watch my videos. It means that you're getting value out of it at least, right? Or learning something new or just, you know, entertainment wise, my voice is funny or something like that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Also, like I said in the beginning, if you do wish to support me other than watching my videos, there are some links down below where you could, you know, for my Patreon and for donations as well. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video, which is probably going to be our last video. So stay tuned for that, guys. And um, yeah, see you then.